Hello everybody, it's at Tomorrow 217 welcome back to another vlog. Um, not fully Lego, but something different, so, yeah. Okay, Caleb, what are we here for? Uh, BMX bike, but they don't have any. They don't have any at all? None whatsoever? You no. sure? Okay. You do have some nice Lego here, though. I have been thinking about looking at getting some McFarlane sets. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think I should try and get one of these sets just for a review thing, because you guys know I'm in the FNAF. I am looking at this set. Quite pricey, though. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Nothing much really to show off. So, if there's anything, we're showing off. Kind of like how uh, Lego does a quote unquote in store exclusive promo, but I can find them for five bucks Canadian at my local Walmart. <laughs> so, we're here looking for bikes, and uh, I found this cool little kid's helmet. It's a uh, Lego yet not Lego. Bike. Very interesting stuff. Spying on my sister to see what kind of look she's getting. I don't know what she's into. <laughs> oh, look, there's FNAF books in there. My Nights at Freddy's. Hey, Lydia. So one thing that I try to let you guys know is uh, at my local Walmart here in Canada, they got these UK magazines. This is where I get them. I won't be picking up this one though because it's not an interesting looking minifigure. Okay, so I'm back in this aisle again. Talk to Rick Albrick's count. He executed order 66. He convinced me to buy this set, so blame him. <laughs> so you guys know I'm a big FNAF fan. I had no idea that the core collection was put out on consoles yet. I thought it was in development. Pretty cool. So I'm just looking around here in Walmart, and I come across the Bean Boodle. This is the exact same I got at Discovery Hut. Look at that price tag. I could save money. I feel a little bit ripped off. Anyway, I guess I'm getting them from here now. Okay, so I finished up inside Walmart. Um, not sure where the rest of the family's going, but I got that bagged up. We picked up that set. Rick, I blame you for this. Anyway, let's see where we're going next. I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure we're going to Costco next, but I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so we're making trips here and there at different bike shops. Just looking for a bike for my brother. Not quite sure what we're looking for exactly. Just something that, you know, fits him. I'm just tagging along because, you know, whatever. But, jeez. Look at the price tags of some of these bikes. I don't know, I think of how much Lego I could buy with that kind of money, and this is in Canadian. <laughs> Still, looks like a quality bike, if you ask me. What are you looking at? I'm looking at BMX clothes. Why? Because I want some for my stunt bike. Okay. How much are they? They're really expensive, they're like... But they're probably quality though. Yeah, it's, they're like 32 bucks plus, like, you know. Okay. That's cool. For those of you who don't know, this is my sister Lydia. Say hi. Hi, I'm Leo King 217. Okay, let's go look at some of this stuff. After a quick trip to that bike shop, we're gonna be heading inside a dollar store just to chill and see. I have heard that there's been Lego sold in there before, so uh, I don't know. We'll see what we'll find. So we looked around Dollarama, there's no Lego stuff. They used to have these activity books that had a minifigure. I think I did a review on the Batman one. Um, I don't know. You think we're going to get some snacks? What is yes. that? I don't know. It's Montoya. Yeah. It's like a little block stuff. This? Not interested. Maybe they have a Pomeranian one. No Pomeranian? <laughs> anyway, I don't know where we're heading next, but let the day continue. I can't help but feel that this is ripping off of a Ninjago in some way, shape, or form. I am not getting it though. Hi. Lydia, guess what? They sell Lego Jurassic World dinosaurs separately for only a dollar fifty. Oh my gosh, that's a ripoff. Oh wait, that's Monotoy. Garbage. Garbage. 
Okay, so I originally thought there wasn't any Lego magazines that I was mentioning. But down here, we've got two. A Ninjago one. I'm gonna hold off on that one, honestly. And then a pirate. This one looks like it's from Barracuda Bay. Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm right. These things cost like four bucks. I don't know. If they had a more interesting minifig, I'd pick one up, but. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so we did find some Lego in here, but not a lot, but I don't know. Nothing really much I want to pick up today, so we're just gonna pick up some snacks, maybe head home, who knows. So that's uh, fun. Well, of course, I'll show off everything I got at the end of the video, which I think is just one thing, but still, stick around. So, yeah, this is all that we got today. Not much, but you know, here's just out and about, spend time with the siblings, all that cool stuff. But, yeah, I kind of blame Albrecht's count for convincing me. Pick up this non-Lego building kit. Um, it's, I'm actually kind of excited to build this as a big Five Nights at Freddy's fan myself. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to try and build this on the main channel here. If you... I think I should build it with Rick, with one of his own McFarland sets on his channel. Um, there is one set that I am I might consider chasing, and that's the Star Curtain stage. Who knows? We'll see if I actually chase that or not, but... Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, all that cool stuff, and I'll see you all in a future video. Till then, see you later. Bye.